this is where we were in the last video. We had proved this statement by mathematical induction. But this is the way it was presented. Now, as I had said before, it could be presented in another way. Let's look at how you deal with it when it's presented in that other way. I said the 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus that, that, that plus 2n. It could be written as the sum from r equals 1 to n of 2r equals and then the right hand side. So it can be written as the sum from r equals 1 to n of 2r equal n n plus 1. Let me just draw a line to separate the work here. Oh to go around this step here. Alright. So in this case now we are summing from r equal one to n of two r. For the first term r is one. I said the first term r is one. Two one is two plus second term r is two. The third term r is three. So two by two, two by three, and so on. So here the base case is where we say we will show that P1 is true, just as before. So when we have the first um, term, R is 1, it is 2 times 1 equal, N also happens to be 1. N is the number of terms you're adding up. If you're adding up two terms, R would be 1, then it becomes 2, but N would be 2. Alright? So N happens to be 1 here. It's 1, um, 1 times 1 plus 1. 2 times 1 is 2 equal. 1 plus 1 is 2 by 1 is 2. Alright? Suppose you were adding up the first two terms. You would say 2 times 1 plus 2 times 2 is equal to n would be 2. And then you have n at 2 again, 2 plus 1. This is 2 1 is 2 plus 2 2 is 4. Is 2 1 1 3 3 2 6, but 4 and 2 is 6. You see that? Suppose you were adding up the first three terms, it would be first term r is 1, 2 times 1 plus. Second term r becomes 2, 2 times 2 plus. Third term r becomes 3, 2 times 3 equal. But n is where you stop. Right? The number of terms you're adding is n. So in this case, you add three terms, so n is three, so it's three, three plus one. Two one is two plus two two is four plus two three is six is three and one four. Four three is twelve, right? Now six plus four is ten plus two twelve. So twelve equal twelve. You get the idea, right? But you only need to show that P1 is true. So again, let me write it. 2 times 1 is equal to 1, 1 plus 1, when n is 1, r is also 1. 2 1 is 2 equal, 1 and 1 is 2, 2 1 is 2. So P1 is true. Next, the induction hypothesis. Show that PK is true. You cannot specify a, any, a certain number here. So it's a K. If you specify a number, then the question arises, what about the number before it and the number after it? All right? All right. If, it, if you show that P1 is true, then P2 is true, question is, what about P3? So you don't specify. You say K, PK is true. 
So you're going to change N to K. Now, it means that you're going to have the sum from R equal 1 to N. So it's the sum from R equal 1 to N of, it's going to be 2R equal, now you notice, you don't specify R, you don't make R N. You don't make R anything else, it's just R. R was 1, then it's 2, then it's 3. So you can't call it anything else. It's R. R is just a position. First term, R is 1. Second term, R is 2. Third term, R is 3. And so on, right? Now, that is equal to N. Oh, I said PK, but I wrote N up here. It should be from R equal 1 to K. N turns to K now. It's K, K plus 1. Alright? So that's the induction hypothesis. The next thing you know is to... Oh, by the way, in the induction hypothesis, it's not show you, assume. So it's really assume you should write. Alright? You're not proving anything. You just assume that it is true. Alright? Notice, for one... It is true. No argument about that. You show that P1 is true. It's not an assumption. But PK, you don't know what K is, but it can be any number. This is not proving anything. So you assume that PK is true. All right. Now, you're going to show that The number after k is true. That means p of k plus 1 is true. So here, k will become k plus 1. So you're summing from r equals 1 to k plus 1 of 2r equal. k becomes k plus 1 now. So this k is k plus 1. All right? Open bracket, so you have this k becomes k plus 1, open bracket, this k will come here as k plus 1, so it's k plus 1, and then this plus here, and this 1 here, alright, so it's a plus 1. Now, at this point, you will break up this sum into two parts. You sum from R equal 1 to K of 2R plus the next term, the K plus 1 term. And that's equal to the right hand side. You write back this, so it's K plus 1. This in here becomes K plus 1 plus 1, so it's K plus 2. So, it is k plus 2 when you simplify it, alright? Alright, so, here. You see, just like how before, you took this part separately, and then you add the k plus 1 term here. In this case, it's the same thing. Here, you summed up from the first term to the kth term. Then add the k plus 1 term to the side. Here, you're summing up from R equal, the first term, r equal 1, to the kth term. Plus, then you add the k plus 1 term to the side. Same thing. So here now, what is the this what is this r equal 1 to k of 2r is the same thing happen here what is this part when you add up r equal 1 to k of this you're adding up this all right now what you're going to get r equal 1 to k of 2r 
see it here now. This is it. R equal 1 to K of 2R is K, K plus 1. So, it is K, K plus 1. The same thing had happened here. When you add it up, up to K, the K term is K, K plus 1. Then you add the K plus 1 term. Same thing here. So, you add the What's the k plus 1 term? Remember, the first term is 2 times r, the second term is 2. I mean, the first term is 2 times 1, the second term is 2 times 2, the third term is 2 times 3, the fourth term is 2 times 4, the k term is 2 times k. So the k plus 1 term is 2 times k plus 1. Alright? And that is equal to, in the right hand side says k plus 1, k plus 2. Alright, now if we look on the left hand side, what you will have is the k plus 1 as a common factor. You can factor it out. So it's k plus 1 and over my bracket. k plus 1 into k times k plus 1 is k plus k plus 1 into 2 times divided into 2 times k plus 1 is 2. And this is equal to the right hand side, which is k plus 1, k plus 2. Alright, so there you have it. k plus 1 by k plus 2 equals k plus 1 by k plus 2. So, it is, you can write it down here. The statement is proved. 